Congratulations on purchasing a Carbon Crown or Titan Fire Safe by Sandalford. The setup procedure is identical for both. Your safe will have come with an emergency battery box. Locate it and insert the pin on the emergency battery box into the hole at the bottom right of the keypad and remove the emergency key cover. Open the safe using the user key and the emergency keys simultaneously. The number on the key should correspond with the number on the lock barrel. To set your own personal code, press the hash key and enter the preset factory code 1234 and press hash again. The display will turn blue and read open. Press the star key and within 7 seconds the display will go blank and you can input your new user code of 4 to 8 digits, followed by the hash key. When the display reads into, you have been successful. To ensure your custom programmed code works, it's best to test your keypad code with the door open prior to locking the safe. And remember, if all else fails, you can use your emergency keys to open the safe as well, as long as you haven't stored them in the safe. Inside the door of the safe, there's the reset button. If at any stage you want to change your personal code, press the reset button. When the display says clear, the factory code 1234 has been restored and you can enter a new code by following the same steps we explained earlier. To use your safe, insert your user key and press the hash key. When the LCD display lights up, enter your personal code and press hash. If you make a mistake, you can clear a digit by pressing the star key. If the code's correct, the screen will turn blue and read open. If the code's entered incorrectly, the screen will say error. If it's entered three times incorrectly, the keypad will automatically lock and an alarm will sound for 60 seconds. To stop the alarm, insert the pin from the emergency battery box at the base of the keypad as shown and pop the emergency key cover. Then insert both keys, open the safe and remove the batteries. For added security, you can enter your personal code without it appearing on the display screen. Simply press the star key before you enter any of the numbers. Your Sandiford Carbon Safe will come with emergency keys. These are to open the safe the first time, if the batteries go flat or you forget your user code. And remember, the emergency keys on their own won't open the safe. They'll have to be used with the user key. The emergency keys aren't for everyday access and should be stored separately in safe places. And remember, don't store your emergency keys inside the safe. They're no good to you there. If the batteries for your electronic keypad go flat, use the emergency battery box for auxiliary power. Your new safe can be secured to concrete using the masonry bolts that it came with. It can also be bolted to timber with coach screws, but these aren't included with the safe. To set the date, time of day and day of the week, you'll need the 8 key and the hash key. Press 8 until you reach the year you require, then press hash. Go to the month you require and press hash again, and then set the day of the month, again followed by the hash key. To enter the time of day, follow the same procedure, setting hours first and then the minutes, each time followed by the hash key. Finally, press 8 until you reach the day of the week and press hash. The safe must be installed in an upright position so it opens like a microwave. Finally, if you'd like to clean your safe, don't use any cleaning liquids or sprays, just a damp cloth. So that's it for installing and operating your new Carbon Crown or Titan safe. When it comes to storing your valuable items, you can't go past a Sandalford safe. And remember, don't store your emergency keys in the safe. Here's another tip, store them separately so if you happen to lose or forget where you put one, you've got the other one.